All right. Well, thank you in advance for your interest in my presentation today. Uh, I'm Johanna Kuhn and I represent Biomed Central, the open access publisher. And as a publisher, of course, we have access to all the publication and submission data for hundreds of thousands of articles, which puts us in a good position to analyze this data and draw some conclusions. And this is also what uh, part of my presentation will be based on today. Um, but first of all, we have, we'll have a very quick look at a study which you all know, the SOAP study, but which still gives us important, interesting insights um, also for different countries. And this will be followed by some um, of our new recent data on publications at Biomed Center and Springer uh, in Poland. And at the end of my presentation, I would show, like to show you also a few slides on the Biomed Central and Springer uh, Open Access Initiative. Just a few words on Biomed Central for those of you who might not be uh, familiar with what we do exactly. We are one of the first um, publishers of peer-reviewed open access journals in science, technology and medicine. Um, and we, in fact, pioneered this publishing model back in 2000 when we launched our first journal. In, in the meantime, we have published over 140,000 peer-reviewed articles in our now 260 open access journals. Um, articles in our journals receive more than 10 million downloads every month. They are published under the Creative Commons license CCBY4. Um, costs are covered through the article processing charges. And we are part of Springer since 2008. We cooperate, of course, uh, very closely with Springer, especially with regards to our, our open access program, part of which is also Springer Open, uh, Springer's own brand of fully open access journals in different disciplines. Now for the SOAP study, uh, you all know this, it's, it's a study on open access looking at the demand for and the recognition of um, uh, open access. And it's been funded by the European Commission and it's been conducted by distributing questionnaires to over 1.5 million people. It's been already concluded in February 2011, so it's just not very new anymore. Um, but also Biomed Central and Springer have contributed to this study. I can only show you a very uh, small fraction of the study and I have chosen those parts uh, because they deal with uh, costs associated with open access publishing which is also what the uh, um, open access um, initiative of Biomed Central is addressing. But if you're interested, of course, you can find the full report online. One of the questions asked to the researchers was how easy is it to obtain funds for open access publishing? And um, as we, we all know, probably, um, most researchers find it rather difficult to obtain funding, except for those from the industry or from the commercial sector. For those who were able to find the funds for open access publishing to cover the cost, um, they say that they were able to use a part of the fund that was not originally intended or specifically intended to cover our APCs. And this is also the case for Poland. This is not on, uh, on this slide, but in also Polish researchers answered um, like this, 35% uh, of them. The researchers that decided not to publish open access named as one of the main reasons um, of course, as we have seen, the, um, the lack of funding and secondly, the journal performance or the perceived quality and reputation of the journals. Now let's add to this a few statistics on internal Biomed Central and Springer data, especially for Poland. We can see here the growth in submissions and publications of articles to Biomed Central and Springer journals worldwide. Dark blue, the publications, and light blue, the actually um, on the submitted and rejected articles. In 2012 alone, um, over 50,000 articles have been submitted and 20,000 have been accepted. And this is also reflected in submissions and publications from Polish researchers to our journals, also growing very rapidly, especially between 2011 and 2012, when the increase was around 30%. Um, percent. And this is um, 
also have looked at some other countries in the region and it's the highest increase of all of these countries as we will see in a minute. Just to illustrate this a little bit better, this is the growth rate for submissions from Polish and um, other researchers to our journals. Um, so uh, submissions from Poland have um, grown very, um, very strongly and more than so than from Czech Republic and Hungary. And in comparison, these are the uh, growth rates for submissions from some other countries, France, Austria, Germany. Clearly we can see that they are not as strong anymore. And um, well, maybe um, these countries are more mature in terms of recognition and implementation of open access, open access publishing, um, which may explain the slower growth rate. But in any case, the growth of submissions are still very strong for all of these countries. So what does this mean? In summary, 90% of scientists think open access journals are a good thing, um, which is also from the SOAP study. And if they don't publish in open access journals, the main reasons are lack of funding and journal uh, performance. This is also the case in Poland. Up to 62% of the academics say that it is difficult for them to obtain funding, but nevertheless, as we have seen, submissions and publications are um, still growing very strongly, especially in Poland. Um, so let's have a look at the Biomed Central Open Access Initiative. What do we do to help institutions and to provide service to the authors and readers to address these issues? As you know, there are different ways of open access publishing and this is the same for Springer. These are Springer's three columns of open access. And the first one is the author's right to self-archive um, the uh, accepted manuscript version of the article in a repository after a six to 12 months embargo period, even if the article was not published originally in open access journal. Second column, you are definitely familiar with this, I believe, hybrid open access. <coughs> um, this is... Um, it means that the authors have the choice to publish in a any of the traditional Springer journals, pay a fee, uh, article processing charges, and make the article immediately available in open access and keep the copy copyright. And the other content in the same journal may not be available without a subscription if the authors of these articles did not decide to uh, pay for the article processing charges. And, and this option is available to all Polish researchers through the Polish Ministry of Science, but doesn't co cover the fully open access column, the third column with Biomed Central and Springer Open Journals. And, and this third column, fully open access, also covers um, Springer Open Books. And all of the content in those journals is open access. There is no subscription fee at all for any of the content. As one of the main factors for researchers not to publish in our journals um, is the uh, reputation of the, of the journal. I would like to say a few words on um, impact factors of Biomed Central journals. Um, of, um, we, we know, well, when open access was something new, the, most of the journals didn't have an impact factor simply because the journals were new themselves. But we know, of course, that um, impact factors are important for many researchers at the moment, for most researchers, because uh, career opportunities depend on, still on the impact factor of the journal that they can publish in. We have also uh, different uh, ways of measuring um, impact of an article. Um, for example, we have altmetrics as well integrated on our, um, our journal websites. But for now, we aim for an impact factor um, for all of our journals, simply because it's important. So this is a list of the top impact factors at Biomed Central Journal and impact factors as well as the list of journals that have an impact factor is growing every year. At the moment, 160 of our 260 journals do have an impact factor. <coughs> an example of a highly cited article of a researcher of University of Poznan in um, reproductive biology and endocrinology um, which has been cited 130 times. Um, articles in uh, open access journals can have a relatively high number of citations because they are openly available and also Polish researchers are taking advantage of this fact. 
Um, as uh, the importance of open access is growing, we have also started to cooperate with institutions to encourage their researchers, to support their re researchers when publishing in open access journals. Um, because, of course, the first main reason for them not to publish in open access is the cost. And the first way of cooperation for us is the institutional membership model. Um, we can see here that there are different models. I don't want to go into detail with that because it would take too long. But if you're interested, please let me know and I can share that information with you. We already have 486 members currently in 52 countries around the world. So to summarize this, uh, open access is uh, growing fast, open access publishing in gold as well, especially in Poland, because the quality and recognition of open access journals is continuing to increase. But Polish researchers still find it difficult to obtain funding to publish in fully open access journals. So we are working with institutions and researchers to make sure that we provide the service and quality of our journals that they are looking for and to encourage open access publishing. Thank you very much.